So, Taryn, why do we read? Well, books give us an escapism from everyday life, an exit from reality and departure from this turbulent and testing time. By imagining yourself in a book, you create a sense of security, community, and alter your outlooks in a variety of books, novels, and even everyday life, not to mention a wide room of vocabulary. Escapism from a world of isolation and pandemics can help to maintain a balance of creativity and analytical thinking, which can ultimately achieve a healthy state of mind. In such a stressful time, it is key we immerse ourselves in a variety of fiction and non-fiction texts to improve our writing skills, focus and concentration, memory and mental stimulation, as well as help to alleviate stress and workload. I'm sure you're all tired of staring into a screen day in, day out, so why not look at the book today? If you feel as though you're struggling under the grips of the pandemic, please speak to a member of staff today. Fiction or non-fiction, reading allows you to discover new cultures and travel the world without leaving the comfort of your own home. Inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement, why not read The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas? Four book foods can so popular spread to kingdoms far, far away. First of all, the English department have put up stickers all around the school so all the nice young people can guess the characters. But they also have so many competitions that are going to be judged on the 4th and the 5th of March that you can get involved with. They are split up into four sections. The creative section involves setting up as your favourite character and you can get your family involved with this too. But if this isn't your thing, you can make a model or a cake like the yummy one we can see Zoe making on the screen. Last but not least is the speaking and listening times so that can cater for all learners. Everyone in the amazing Key Stage 3 can listen to two tales read by your awesome teachers at Henley. And for anyone in Key Stage 4, there are loads of mind-opening talks to give you a wider taste for English language and literature which is great for anyone considering A-level, but also people who just want to expand their knowledge. There are later talks to choose from and there's a big fancy one. There is also the reading section, where all the young readers can go and bibby and easy and log their reading and hope to win the World Book Day Pride. And anyone can take part in the reading location challenges, find the most unusual place in your land, a safe of course, and take a picture. The writing section is where you can offload your creativity and write an alternative ending to your favourite book. Creativity counts and you don't have to have good spelling or grammar to enter, so make sure you take part. All competition entries get a mini prize, so make sure you take part. World Book Day has been entertaining people for so long and we're sure these challenges will be a lot of fun.